President Biden unveiling a proposal for a major reform to the U.S. Supreme Court, including a code of ethics and also term limits. Biden spoke in Austin on Monday about the major changes and cited recent Supreme Court rulings he called extreme. Joe Cortez is live in studio this morning with reaction from our local delegates. Joe. Okay, Patrick, the president's looking to ratify a constitutional amendment with under 100 days before the election, starting with disposing lifetime appointments to the Supreme Court. The plan includes 18 year term limits for justices. And if that was adopted, the sitting president would nominate a new justice every two years. Also in the proposal, enforceable code of ethics. The nine justices would be required to disclose all major gifts and travel. And finally, the president is asking to reverse the Supreme Court's recent landmark immunity ruling that determined former presidents have broad immunity from prosecution. Locally, Massachusetts Senator Ed Markey, he welcomed the president's proposal. And Rhode Island Senator Sheldon Whitehouse, who's been pushing both an ethics and term limits bill, says those pieces match the policy guidelines the president set out. The same creepy billionaires who are behind the effort to put these justices on the court are also funding the dark money political operation of the Republican Party. So the Republican Party is never going to allow proper investigation into the uh, Supreme Court if it can help it. It's a tall order from a divided Senate and a Republican controlled House. Mike Johnson called this proposal dead on arrival, but we'll wait and see if anything gets done ahead of the election. Live in the studio this morning, Joe Cortez, 12 News.